What's up guys, I'm Blaze, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove this active Windows watermark. Now, if you don't have an actual Windows license, it will appear here in the corner, and there is a way to remove it. Now, what you want to do to remove it is press Windows and R. This is going to bring up this little window here. And it says, type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. You want to type in REG Edit. So, Reg Edit. You're going to press OK for that. And it's going to ask you if you want to make these changes. You just say yes. And it's going to bring you to this, to this uh, window right here, which shows all these folders. And as you can see, I have them opened up already to where it's, it's just there for me. So first folder you want to open up, you'll have these lines right here and it'll go down. You want to type in H key underscore local underscore machine. That's going to drop these down. Then you want to go to system. That's going to drop these down. You want to go to control, uh, current control set. That'll drop these down. Then you're going to go to services. Once you drop down the service folder, you're going to go all the way to where it says W or does it say W? No. No, it doesn't. It's going to say SV, SVC. Now, you're not going to go into any of these folders. You're just going to click on this one. And it's going to say start. You're going to double click on that. And it's going to say value data. It will show a 3 for you guys. So what you want to do for that is just type in a 4. So I'm going to back it. Type in a 4. Press OK. Once you've done that, you can exit out of here. And we'll, after this step, you're going to go here and you want to restart your computer. And I will show you guys once my computer fully restarts that it will be gone. No, I fully restarted my computer. And as you can see, the watermark is gone. It is not there anymore. But there is a thing. It will continue to come back. There's for me personally, for my computer, it it just comes back. It's not a permanent thing. So if it does come back, just do the same thing. Just do the Windows key and R, and this will type, uh, pop up for you. And yes, you want to make these changes. It will already be there for you, and you just click on the Start two times, and there it is again. So that's all you need to do. And uh, this video was helpful. Go ahead, give it a like, and uh, subscribe for more.